lesson 11, 12a, we work on combining like terms. So we start out with very simple ones and we progressively work to a little bit more challenging. The first one, you have 5a's plus 12a's. Okay, and I hope you're visually thinking about 5 of the letter A and 12 of the letter A. When you combine these two terms, the answer is 17a. Okay, the next we can also do subtraction. If you visually think about having 13 of the letter B and taking six of those Bs away from that, your answer for this will be 7B. <coughs> now you have an expression with three terms, two of which of the three terms have a common variable. I would like you to circle the common variable and any sign that goes in between it, okay? If you have eight W's and you add nine more W's to it, the answer would be 17 W and you have to add on your 4K because you don't have any other common terms to add with that. Okay, again, this is a three term expression. You want to circle the variables and the signs that go along, goes along with it. And I visually represented this to you in class. I always start with the positive. You have positive, 7xy. That really means that you have 7xy's in repeated addition. Okay? And you were going to subtract two of the xy's and you are left with adding one, two, three, I forgot an xy, five xy's. Okay? So your answer is 9 plus 5xy, okay? I'd like you to try the next portion of our lesson. We worked also on factoring, which is looking at the common factors and the distributive property. So for this two-term expression, 28y plus 14a, I'd like you to put them in the ladder method and understand that they're both divisible by 7. 28y divided by 7 is 4y. 14a divided by 7 is 2a. 4 and 2 at this point are both divisible by 2 as well. 4y divided by 2 is 2y. 2a divided by 2 is 1a. You can put the coefficient of 1 in there, or you can just say 1a. Okay. So the answer is GCF, I'm going to multiply this stuff on the side, 7 times 2 is 14, and in parentheses you are going to be left with 2y plus a. Okay, the next one, you are going to apply the distributive property because the greatest common factor has already been factored out. Let's distribute it back in. 7 times 4x is 28x, 7 times 3y is 21y, and the expression is asking you to add those together. They can ask you this kind of question in a perimeter kind of question. If they gave you a pentagon and they labeled all of the sides with variables, you would be able to find the perimeter of this. You have to understand perimeter just means adding all the sides together. So I could take all of the sides and write a very long expression just adding every single side together. I just took all five sides and put them in a very long expression. You can now apply what you've learned today in class, um, combining terms that are alike. So I'm going to combine all the terms that are alike first with their symbols. I have x plus x plus x. That gives me a total of three x's. Now I'm going to circle the y's. I have a plus 2y and a plus 2y. That would give me a total of four y's. And you are left with a whole number. That is a known number. These are both unknown, so you can't add them to the known variable. The last section we'll work on today is review. Um, evaluate 6b to the third power. Okay, I'm going to expand this first. This really means 6 times b 
to the third power. I'm going to plug in the number the word problem gave me for the variable. So it's 6 times 3 to the third power. This becomes an order of operations problem. No parentheses. I'm going to box the exponents. Make sure you have proof of your exponents. Don't tell me that's 9. Never multiply the base by the exponent. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. I'm going to plug my answer in here. That was for the 29, sorry. Now I'm going to multiply because that's all I have left. The answer to this problem is 162. <clears throat> the last one is a little bit longer expression. It has three terms. With uh, They give us a known for our variable. First thing I'm actually going to do is expand it with multiplication dots just to remind myself that it's multiplication. Now I'm going to plug in my value of 2 for C. And now I'm going to follow my order. I hope I see this on your papers. No parentheses. Exponents. I have three twos in repeated multiplication. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. My other exponent is just two twos in repeated multiplication. That should give you a value of four. I'm going to copy down everything that I didn't use. Now I'm going to multiply or divide, whichever comes first from left to right. So this is 32 plus 2 times 4 minus 15. I'm going to do my multiplication next. Okay, now I'm just left with addition and subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. And the answer here would be 25.